hello scientific people welcome to dab mall public school so let's continue with the concept of electric current and circuit this is the last video of this chapter previously we have studied about electric current and circuit so electric current is simply the flow of charges whereas the circuit is the path through which an electric current flows so in this video we will study some precautionary measures about electricity so let us begin this concept with a quote so quote says that a good servant but a bad master if you control it it will serve you nicely do not allow it to control you so it has a deep meaning related to electricity so electricity it is a good servant what do i mean by this good servant because it makes the human life very easy hence we call this as a good servant but a bad master you control it it will serve you nice unless and until if we control electricity it will serve you nicely and it will act as a servant but if we allow electricity to control control us then it will hamper us so it one should not allow electricity to control us but we as a human should control electricity because we have discovered electricity or we have invented electricity rather electricity excuses nobody so whoever is there it excuses nobody no matter whoever no matter whatever dignitaries are present it doesn't see who the person is it simply does it works so accident do not happen they are caused so accident do not happen intentionally they are always caused so electricity a good servant but a bad master so let us see six golden rules how to manage electricity if one follow all safety rules adhere to establish procedures use proper control gears never take anything for granted always be alert keep your mind on the job so these are certain six rules when you deal with some electrical appliances follow all safety rules properly establish procedures certain procedures are there one has to establish that procedure use proper control gears whatever control measures are there one should use that never take anything for granted one should not take electricity for granted always be alert whatever work you are doing related to electricity one should be alert to it keep your mind on the job always keep your mind focus whenever you are handling electrical appliances you control electricity it will serve you nicely do not allow it to control you so this is the statement which we have learned in this video so there are certain some general rules one should follow whenever they are using electricity so one should never touch electrical connection or device with bare hand one should not as you can see in this picture this is person with wet hand and this is a person who is handling electrical instrument with the help of a wet hand as water is a good conductor of electricity it will allow to flow properly so it can hamper that that person so do not don't touch electrical appliances or wire with wet hand or feet as i told one should not touch electrical appliances with wet hand because water is a good conductor of electricity it allows us the flow of current never try to open off fiddle electrical appliances as you can see this is a person is trying to open electrical appliances which is connected to the mains as as you can see this is connected to the mains and this person is trying to open that appliances one should not use this this is a wrong method this is also a wrong method always never try to open yes this is a told always respect the warning sign this is a warning sign whenever in, 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 you might have seen in some instrument this sort of warning sign are there one should not ignore this warning sign whenever we deal with some electrical appliances this is this sign indicates that is a risk of electric shock so one should not ignore this sign now this is a this is a person who is wearing this insulating materials like gloves and managing this means so one should always wear this insulating material which is made up of plastics or some insulating materials one should not one should always wear this sort of material while handling or managing electrical appliances 
so these are certain general precautionary measures one should follow when they basically deal with electrical appliances so staying safe with electricity one should not pull the wires with bare hand this is the why this is a wrong one should not follow this one should not put finger into a circuit this is a circuit switch one should not put finger into the switch don't fly kites or climb trees near the power lines one should not climb trees near the power lines because this is the power lines and one should not even fly kites near the power lines don't use radios or hair dryers near water one should not use hair dryers or radios near the water because water is a conduct good conductor one should not use it so the staying safe with electricity one should not do this this sort of things do not touch live wire neutral wire with the help of and never put and never insert your finger into sockets certain safety measures while some shock as all some miss happening might have happened so what one should do if a person come in contact with electric current knock person out of the circuit by using an insulator like broom broom is basically the sort of sweeping device plastic brush or a plastic garbage pail pile these are certain insulating material if a person gets a shock one should break that connection with the help of this sort of device this is nothing but an insulating device unplug appliances using insulator to avoid circuit whatever circuits are there one should unplug that circuit with the help of certain insulators insulators are basically certain materials which do not allow electric current to pass pass through it previously we have studied about conductors and insulators now rush to power box or turn off the circuit breaker so there are certain breakers like mcb miniature circuit breakers one should simply cut off that power whenever certain shocks or certain miss happenings which you have seen in your surrounding one should do this so i hope you have understood thank you and have a nice day